tell you. What is it, Dad? Are you going to tell us a story? Not today, boys. Instead, I want you to tell me what you have learned about the night sky and the planets. Okay, that's fun, because the planets are all like the gods. Mercury is named for the Roman god of messengers because it seems to move so quickly through the sky. Venus is named for the Roman goddess of love because it, is, because it is the brightest one we see and it's so beautiful. Earth comes from the base word er, which means ground. Mars is named for the Roman god of war because of its red blood like color. Jupiter is the largest planet. It was named Zeus by the Greeks and Jupiter by the Romans because it was their most important god. Saturn and Cronus was named. Saturn and Cronus was named for the god of agriculture in time, perhaps because it is the slowest planet to orbit the sun. He was the father of Zeus and Jupiter. Uranus was named after the Greek god of the sky, who was the father of Cronus, Saturn, and grandfather of Zeus, Jupiter. And Neptune was named for the Roman god of the sea. You boys are so smart. I think it's time for you guys to go seek out your fortune. I'll come and visit you when you've settled in your new home. But Dad, what if we just want to stay here and live with live at home with you? Time for you boys to grow up and be responsible. Now how are each of you going to build your new homes? You need to be creative but sensible. Well, I want to build my house out of the ice in the backyard. No fair. I was going to choose that. Me too. Then do rock, paper, flippers. Rock, paper, flippers. Yay, I win. You'd better start thinking about how you're going to move that ice. That ice is heavy. Oh yeah, I guess I need to move out of the backyard, don't I? Uh, yeah. I want the snow. Me too. Rock, paper, flippers. Yeah, I win. Better start moving. You have a lot of moving to do. I guess I'm stuck with the slush. Yep, you'll need to be creative. At least it tastes good. Ew, you're not supposed to eat it. <laughs> okay, I'll try not to, but I might get thirsty and it's good snow gums. Good luck. I am so hungry. I wonder what I can find to eat today. Oh look, penguins. I wonder if they would be good to eat. Oh look, a polar bear. I bet he would make a tasty meal. No, no, please don't eat me. Well, if I can't eat the polar bear, I'll have to try for the penguins. I'm so hungry, I want a penguin dinner, and, I'll, and I will only eat you, not your brothers, at least not today. Come out, come out of your slushy house, little penguin. Not bad hair on my flippity flip flippers. Then I'll blow, and I'll blow, and I'll squirt your house down. No! Uh, I guess I'll need to try the next one. I'm so hungry. I want a penguin dinner. Come out and I will only eat you, not your brothers, at least not today. Come out of your snowy house, little penguin. Not by the hair of my flippity flip flippers. Then I'll blow and I'll blow and I'll squirt your house right on. No! I'm so hungry. I want a penguin dinner. Come out and I will only eat you, not your brothers, at least not today. Come out of your day, um, icy house, little penguin. Not by the hair on my flippity flip flippers. Then I'll blow and I'll blow and I'll squirt your house on you. Go ahead and try. Ice houses are really sturdy. I'm just so hungry. What am I going to going to have for dinner? How about a seaweed salad? That's a good idea. Seaweed doesn't build I to ice no ice ice houses. Yay! Just like in China, Dad. I I certainly have some clever boys. Just like you taught us, Dad. What's for dinner? I brought some seaweed salad. Anybody want some? Ew! Ew.